There's a question from Tian Van Staden. The first time yeah. artists, where do you start with the utilities beyond the NFT? Yeah, so I think what you have to do is to think through from uh, the perspective of your buyer, right? Like right. When, when, when you produce a piece of art, right? Of course, you have pride in painting the thing, but you have to think in the, in the position of the buyer also, right? To be fair, you're selling something, right? Yeah, and then you must think that from a buyer's perspective, what, what, what does the buyer want? The buyer wants to know a few things, right? Firstly, like my like one of I mean the my my one of the investors in our company is, is an art collector, right? I go to a house, it's all art. Right. So she tells me this story. She said that, you know, it's it's really not about the art. It's about the story behind the art. Right. Yeah. Like the thought process. Yes. Yeah. So you know, if you are if you are a, if if you're if you if you're an artist, you're not a marketer, right? Maybe you feel that oh I'm not so creative on the marketing sense, right? I don't know how to like package this thing. Just Add in simple things like exclusive access to your story, for example. You know, like if they buy a piece of your artwork, can do you want to let the buyers actually get maybe a face-to-face -face session with you for like 15 minutes, even if you're very camera shy? You know, or yeah, or, or if you're a bit more, if you want to show your face, maybe you can do a video call with them for 15 minutes, share your personal story. See, or even if worst come to worst, why not give them a personal signature, not a digitalized Adobe contract signature thing? Like, are you willing to write something, you know, you, so you draw a very nice picture, are you willing to sign off at the site, your personal signature? For that? Because that means something, you see, that is a utility also, like how Mona Lisa is not just a painting, but when you buy that, you actually feel something towards it. Yeah, that is a utility. You get some emotional utility with it. Yeah, yeah not just some random picture that you just use uh, AI software and just randomly do cheese. To me, that is emotionless. There's no utility to that, right? But buying art pieces, collecting wine, it must be a collectible, you see. So you can't print 10,000 of your own drawings. Like, then there's no point, honestly. Nobody will buy your, buy, nobody buy your shit. Right, right. Yeah, if you draw yeah, it, you need NFT. me. Yeah. Yeah. NFTs yeah. right now is experiencing the same thing as the internet back then. And uh, when Facebook was first alive, like when the internet was, you know, like you said, it was a read and write thing. But then if, with Facebook, people can connect with the internet and people can connect with other people. And NFTs, if you guys are wondering, uh, what do you mean about the story? Uh, NFTs, you have to connect with other people with your story. So you don't have to make like a, a, a crazy ass story about you going out to Mount Kilimanjaro and you have this epiphany and you might meet this NFT. No, you don't. You just you just have to create that uh, emotional and social connection to, to those uh, audiences that feel like you are a relatable person and you and they want to support you right is that is that what you mean yeah the i think it's giving them something that without buying that they can't get something yeah 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 you know buy a piece of drawing that i've drawn and i and after you buy this i'll draw something that you want me to draw <laughs> 